Hello fellow AMD users. Today I'm going to teach you the best settings to use in OBS 28 to record your desktop. Let's get into it. So slowly but surely, AMD's encoder is catching up to Nvidia's NVENC encoder, but you have to tweak it a little bit to make it look good. In my last video, I showed you the AMF encoder settings that I was using, and somebody actually commented on it. I will show that here. Somebody commented on it and told me some more settings that I can put in there. I added them and it does in fact work. So shout out to Mad Max. I'm going to add those settings into the recording settings. You can also go back and add them to your streaming settings, but I'll show you those right now. So let's get into this. Okay, so you're in OBS 28. What you're going to want to do is go into your settings tab, go to output. These are all your stream settings, but we're going to focus on recording this video. So set it to standard, all my stuff is locked because I'm recording at the moment. But just to give you a quick breakdown, this is where your videos are going to be saved at. So you can browse your, your folders and files and pick where you would like to put these. You want to make sure that you are using the H.265 for, uh, for recording. Streaming, you cannot use this, but recording you can. It's just it's better than H.264. So what you're going to want to have set for your encoder settings, you want it to CBR. I set mine to 60,000. That gives me a maximum of 4K. Um, 10,000 is all you need for 1080p, but you might as well just set it to 60,000. Uh, keyframe interval, put that at two seconds and you want your preset set to quality. Now all of these options in here, I'm going to put in the bio. It's a little bit too much to go through. But here they are written out, if you'd like to just pause and look at them. They're all right here. But put those in there, put a space in between each one of them. As you can see here, I have a space between each one of these. Put those in there, and you can go ahead and apply. Okay, so that's the video itself, but now let's get into audio. You can actually crank up your audio compared to a streaming audio when you're recording. So for me, I go into settings here, output again, and then audio. So track one is what I'm using for streaming, which maxes out at 160. You can max out at 320 when recording. So go down to your track two. If you're a streamer, go down to track two for recording. Put in 320. Now back in your recording settings, you want to make sure that when you're in recording, you're set to track two. That way you're using your, your higher audio quality. Like in streaming, you can see it's set to track one because I'm using this when I'm streaming. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope this helped you out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot. If you do comment and have any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you would like to see the best streaming settings, you can click up here on my last video. Add in the settings from this video as far as your AMF settings. And yeah, that'll, that'll do it for you. So again, thanks. Have a good one.